Right, Ben. So obviously we suffered a big loss at the weekend against the Leicester Riders, but I thought that before that Liz's performance got overshadowed by the final result. What did you make of Dizzy's performance and what do you think about his role this season? Um, yeah, I thought Dizzy done really well. Um, you know, it was it was a difficult game. Um, obviously, Eric had just got there that, that morning. Hill hadn't trained with us at all that week because of his ankle. Um, you know, Sol picked up a knock during the game, which he's been struggling with this week as well. Um, so, it was difficult. Obviously, Eric played a much bigger role than we, than we hoped for. And because of that, like he hadn't been with the team, like he hadn't run through the offences. We didn't really have any sort of set plays out on the floor. And um, yeah, I mean, Dizzy just stepped up both ends of the floor. But you know, we really sort of he was aggressive in that second half, especially when the team, you know, I thought we'd done better in the second half. But you know, Dizzy did lead from the front in that in that aspect. Um, in terms of his role this year, um, it, it's just more of that really. You know, it's. It's making sure that he's aggressive at the right times, um, bringing the energy off the bench, um, definitely on the defensive end, like we always expect, and we know that he will do. Um, but yeah, he's just, you know, he's going to be that guy that he's going to lead by example. Um, and, and yeah, just, just have that aggressive mindset, get into the basket and creating problems for the opposition. And as you said, Eric Hamilton looked very jet lagged, understandably. But what did you see from him in this week's practice? Well, I mean, I think we also a glimpse of it as well on Sunday. I mean, the guy had 11 rebounds in 22 minutes or so, like you say, straight off the play. Um, you know, in practice, we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of the same. You know, he's very aggressive on the boards. Um, you know, he's a big guy, strong guy. And, um, yeah, you know, we're, we're seeing that, which is, which is really, really good. Um, you know, he's, he's, still, he's still learning the offences. He's still learning how to play with his teammates. Um, you know, he is, he's three weeks behind everybody else in that sense. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But, you know, if, if he if he puts his head to it, you know, there's no reason why we, we won't be able to crack on soon. And, and you know, he, he'll, be a, he'll know all the plays, know all the offences and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, you know, he's he's definitely the sort of big guy that we, we were looking for. And obviously this Sunday you tip off your BBL Cup campaign against the Manchester Giants. What are your thoughts ahead of that game? Um, I'm looking forward to it, you know. Um, obviously, it hasn't been the best preseason because obviously we've only played a couple of games and you know I've had a couple of injuries and things like that. But you know Manchester have only had a short preseason as well and they haven't played, so I think we're all sort of in the same sort same sort of scenario. So it's it's a little bit strange, but just looking forward to getting the season going. Um, Manchester's always a tough game for us because it's it's the derby and you know both teams don't want to lose. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very strange playing a derby without any fans as well. That that I mean, you know, that's probably our best atmosphere of of the season. You know, those Manchester Cheshire games. You know, when we play there as well, it's a great atmosphere and great energy. So, it's um it's going to be strange, but looking forward to looking forward to getting on the court and competing. And in terms of play style, are you going to adopt more of a game style where you're going to run sets or more of a run and gun in transition against the Manchester Giants? Um. Obviously, don't want to be giving away all our secrets just here. Um, but, you know, uh, it'll be a little bit of both. You know, we've got an athletic team this year and we've got to utilise that. We've got to utilise that on the defensive end and create easy offence for ourselves, whether that's going to be in transition or fast break. Um, but we also want to be organised and we want to play with patience at the right times as well, make sure that we run our offences, run them correctly and, and get the looks that, that are going to help the team get good, good, good scores. And finally, obviously, now we're in national lockdown again. So, do you have any words for the fans or just anyone who's, who's out there struggling with uh, the another, another lockdown? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a difficult situation. Um, you know, we feel really lucky and privileged that, that we can carry on. I know there's a lot of other people that, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, that they are having to go in, in, into lockdown and they can't go to work and, and do the things that, that they want to do. Um, you know, just stick together, um, you know, it's unprecedented sort of thing that we're going through as, as, a, as a country, as a nation, as a world. So it's just, it's just difficult. Um, stick together, you know, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family. You know, if, if there's anything that the club can do, you know, send messages to people, if, you know, if somebody's down or, you know, needs a, needs a hand like that, you know, get in touch with the club, you know, we'll be more than happy to help in those sort of situations as well. But the, the main thing is just stick together and, and we'll all get through it.